hello friends welcome again and this is my new project cricket ground booking system and i have developed this project in python django and mysql and the version for the python i am using is the python version 3.7 and django version is 2 and the mysql version is 5.6 for connecting mysql with python and django i am using the python mysql connector which you, you will get easily from the mysql.org website or you can uh, install the mysql django connector using the pip also right you can also use PyMySQL for connecting the MySQL with the Python and Django, right? It's a web application. So for front-end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like form validations and all. I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So these all are the technologies which I have used for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is Cricket Booking System, and it's a mini Python, Django, and MySQL DBMS based project. Mini because it has only and only customer login. There is no admin login available inside this project, right? So we develop only uh, single user role login for uh, mini project and dual user login for the major project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see the simple home page. This is the about project. It's about the project, right? This is a search, right? Suppose if you want to book a cricket ground in that area, then you can search the cricket ground here, right? Here you need to search, select the place, and after that, the date for which you need to book, right? Mumbai and the Sandipur. So it's saying that no cricket ground uh, found in this location, right? So because there is no cricket ground in the Mumbai, that's why uh, it's saying that uh, there is no cricket ground, right? So again, uh, select search because the record is not available into the database right if you insert the record inside the database using php admin then that will be displayed here also in the search result so i am searching in the borivali and again okay so you can see there are a lot of cricket bounds available here right and once you click on the login to book so you can see the details here right so you can see details for uh, booking this cricket ground you need to log in right so without login, you can't book the cricket account, right? So I will uh, show it later. Once you click on the login, then it will be reacted to, redirected to the login page here, right? If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register from here. And after registration, you can uh, book the cricket account, right? This is a contact us page and it's a, a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I am not sending any type of email and SMS from this page, right? So again, I am going to search and going to book the cricket ground, right? Search and logging to book. So the user ID is customer and password is test, right? Okay. The Borivali and date is 17 and search. So it's you can see there is a book now button enabled here, right? So book now and here you need to so the booking amount is 50000 rupees enter the credit card amount no need of entering the any any valid credit card it's a local page okay so expiry month and expiry anything anything you can choose right and once you click the make payment you will get okay your booking details right booking id is 17 and gs or booking football system right so it's uh, it has been booked and once you click on the print receipt then it will be printed right in the from the printer right so this is the dashboard so once you user log inside the system he will get the dashboard so you can see there is the dashboard from here he can see the dashboard he can search right he can see all of the my bookings previous booking he can see and he can see the view receipt so you can see this is the view receipt section right and again this is a change password from where user can change his account password and after that he will be able to log inside the system using his updated password right the logout functionality so once uh, user logout from the system the above administration menu will not be displayed because uh, the session will not be set and it's a session driven menu right so you can see my booking is displaying here but if you log out then you can see then there is no my booking is here but if you log in then here is my booking right so this is a session driven and the system checks you are logged in or not if you are logged in then the menu option will be different if you don't have the login then uh, the menu should, options will be different right so these all functionalities i have i have developed inside this project cricket ground booking system if you need more functionality in this way just put it into the comment 
I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more and better, better and better, according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.